All right, today we're looking at the Gigabyte Z68 AP D3 motherboard. This is some impressive stuff. Now, it's been a while since I've done a motherboard review, and I got to say, either something has happened in the industry because this price is too good to be true on this motherboard. Uh, the value is through the roof. What you get on here is really impressive stuff that would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars on an older motherboard maybe a year ago, two years ago, has now kind of boiled down to this like basic motherboard. And, and when I saw it, you know, I thought it was a high-end motherboard, and then I, I saw the price, and I was like, okay, it's bare bottom. Uh, so this is a really, really nice motherboard. If you want to replace something on an older computer, upgrading an old system, or you want to build a gaming rig, you can do it all with this motherboard because it has every feature you'd want. So let's jump in there. I'm going to give you a quick tour of this uh, while we go through it. Let's start with the socket. It is a socket 1155 uh, LGA from Intel, so it will support your i3s, your i5s, and your i7s. Only the second-gen Intel processor will be supported, but very, very nice. Also, you'll notice that even though it's an affordable motherboard, you have great hardware all over. You have ferrite core chokes, solid state capacitors, uh, lower RDS MOSFETs, good cooling. Um, this does run on the Z68 Express Intel chipset, which is really, really nice. Uh, now over here, up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory and very high speed memory, I might add. Uh, now normally, you'd see the native overclocking go to maybe 1600, some go to 1866. This one goes past that, past 2000, all the way to 2133 megahertz. So you can put 32 gigabytes of 2133 megahertz DDR3 and natively overclock it at that speed. That's really, really impressive. That's uh, definitely a couple steps up since the last time I reviewed a motherboard, so that's great. And of course, if you want to push your DIMMs all the way, you can overclock it yourself manually and go even higher than 2133. Now, as we move on, I'm going to keep going down here. Let's see, what's next? Let's talk about PCI Express connectivity. You have two PCI Express X16 slots right here, as well as two standard PCI slots and then three PCI Express X1s. That's a lot of connectivity for a small board like this. It's really affordable. It's really great. You do uh, have support for Crossfire X. If you want to run two graphics cards on here, you definitely can with no problem. It would not be an issue. Also very important on the board, as you see over here, you do have a lot of SATA connectivity. Lots of SATA connectivity on here. Uh, you do have three SATA 2 ports. So that's going to give you the three gigabit per second connection. And even better, if you do have some SSDs or you want to have your operating system running off of a RAID array or off of a faster six gigabit per second hard drive, you do have these SATA 3 connectors. You also have lots of USB headers down here for both USB 2.0 and USB 3.0, which is actually great. You have SP diff, lots of great stuff down here. We're going to move on uh, to the back panel. First thing you'll notice over here is you do have your uh, two USB 2.0 ports that are separate from the other two. They're all over here. So you have two USB 2.0 ports. You have a PS2 hybrid connector, parallel and serial. Um, that makes this a really good board. Because of the fact that it's affordable, but it's high quality hardware, it makes it a great board for workstations. So if you're doing a, po a POS system, point of sale, upgrading an old computer that's like you know a decade old, these are great. You can still use this like kind of old connectivity. You have the uh, Toslink uh, SP diff optical connector. This right here, let me pull it out for you. That is your HDMI. Uh, out so if you have a well you're gonna have an i3 i5 or i7 so you're gonna have your onboard Intel graphics run through here if you have dedicated graphics it's gonna come out through the slot over here you have the, your uh, super speed 3.0 USB ports there's two of those along with the other two that are over here your 10 100 1000 gigabit Ethernet and your 7.1 channel the uh, 7.1 channel HD audio that's actually off the ALC 889 chipset so it sounds really really good it's actually so good uh, that even if you were to upgrade to a discrete audio card, you may not notice the difference. That's how good the onboard audio is on here. So that's basically it. A very nice motherboard. There's a lot of uh, interesting little technologies that come with it. Um, you know, you can do the all the gigabyte stuff that basically comes with it is uh, is going to be available. So some of those, I'm going to read them off the box here because there's a lot of them. Touch BIOS, really interesting. Uh, is actually a product that lets you overclock from the you know from inside the operating system kind of like a lot of them do, little sliders and stuff. Uh, it's just a completely new system by Gigabyte, though. It's very simple to use. Uh, you could basically not have almost any idea how to overclock. It's going to make it really simple and obvious for you to figure out what's going on. It's uh, definitely a step up in the operating system-based overclocking utilities. It's one of the nicer ones. Works really good. Uh, this does have smart response technology on it from Intel. So if you are going to throw SSDs on here, one of the really cool features that I like that comes in the box is a utility program that lets you set that up near instantly. Because if you've ever done it, it takes a few steps, a little bit of rebooting and entering the BIOS and getting out. Nah, not anymore. Put in your SSDs, hit the button. It takes care of all the configuration for you. It's really, really good stuff. So uh, there you have it, the Z68 APD3 from Gigabyte. Really high quality motherboard, very affordable. What you get on here, 
I gotta say is really impressive for the price. I uh, can't really talk too much about the price, but it is you know just about sub $100, and you're getting a lot for your money, including very high-end hardware and lots of features, lots of connectivity, all the latest gadgets from uh, SATA 3, the USB 3.0, and support for the latest Intel processors. So there you have it. If you have any questions on it, feel free to email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Gigabyte Z68 APD3, type in G452-1047 into any major search engine. Thank <laughs> you.